had Fleetfoot go gone with just a straight power build, he could have just killed him. Um, which is, uh, I, I guess, fortunate for for our man, or you could call it making the right read. Uh, either way, a nice snipe here by Fleetfoot, ca canceling out this third. Because he's so low on drones, it's very uh, important that he does not allow this third go up, especially uncontested. It's actually really hard for the Protoss to, to take that third, so uh, Fleetfoot should be able to deny it for quite a while. And double spire play, a uh, very interesting play. Uh, he only has one drone on this gas, but if you go double spire, you really need gas. He only has two on this one, he has four on this one, and he's trying to take this base, which um, our man sees. And our man is going to come deny this, and yeah, Fleetfoot can't save this base. Often when you play, or when you do this style, and you're trying to go for Spire, he should take this base, and he should take this base. Even though this base is really close to Arman. Okay, maybe maybe this base is actually better, uh, more defensible than than this ridiculous one that I pointed out earlier. But you want to, the point is you want to spread your bases out, because Mutas and Zerglings give you the mobility. Um, whereas his, um, the Protoss army is very immobile. Uh, compared to it. And here comes the first big engagement of the game. Looking at the pops, they're quite even, which actually means the Zerg is really far behind. Roaches are really pop heavy. They're, they're not efficient at all, and this is going to be bad news for Fleetfoot, I think. Oh, but Arman actually backs up. Um, the big difference, actually, in Handicap is that a lot of times, the person with the Handicap, because they're not used to having it, doesn't actually know when they can win fights and when they can't. Like, I guarantee if Arman saw this fight in a 100-100 situation, he'd be like, yeah, this is mine easily. Look at my upgrades, 2-1 to 1-0. Look at my units. I mean, I have such a good composition. He has only Roachling, but... Um, he was a little bit hesitant, and you can see now, he shouldn't have been. He probably, he could have killed this base way earlier. And, was that a cancel on a lair? Um, strangely, I guess, I think Fleetfoot was, might have been building a lair there. Actually, maybe it was, yeah, I actually think it was a lair. I don't think it shows research, so. Um, and the mutas are starting to come out. But the problem with mutas is you need the absolute critical mass of mutas. I don't believe Fleetfoot's going to be able to get it. I think Arman is just too far ahead at this moment. Arman could just walk into Fleetfoot's base and kill him. Um, and while Fleetfoot is doing this nice counterattack, yeah, Arman's just going to warp in and be fine. Uh, uh, even though he has mutas here, the zealots are just going to crush everything. And Arman is going to do an extremely, extremely safe move and pull back. I think Arman could actually really benefit by moving this observer forward and not just keeping it with his army. I mean, one hotkey itis. Look at this, it's just one hotkey. Um, if this observer moved in, he would clearly see he could end this game. Uh, there's no questions about it. I, he, his warpins could deal with four meters and two roaches. Um, I mean, I guess, he, and he should he should have transferred these. Uh, maybe he cleared out the probes, and uh, that's why he he's so oversaturated here. Yeah, and here here he goes. He's transferring them back, so he must have transferred them out, uh, which is which is good and um, a a good play. But I don't like bringing back your entire army to deal with what's uh, twelve pop of units. I think that's a little bit unnecessary, especially when you could have killed this. If y you kill this natural, the game ends. Um, actually, I I actually still feel the game is over anyway. These three DTs, I think they could be out around the map some more, but he's just basically trying to deny the fact that um, he doesn't want Fleetfoot to take this base again. Uh, Arman's in a commanding lead right now. Look at the populations. Um, we look at the workers killed. 31 workers killed. That's a huge number. Um, and Arman is ba like just in complete control. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take a very big blunder for him to lose this game. Like, for example, not touching Fleetfoot for another five minutes, probably even more than that. But taking down this third is going to seal this game. The reason being, Fleetfoot does not have another third building. He doesn't even have a potential third in to take. He can't take this because of the DTs. He can't take this because of the huge Protoss army in the middle of the map. Fleetfoot can't even counterattack because of this army. And the Warpins are just going to be too much and too many units. And Armin is once again one hot Kiaitis moving all the Okay, so he's finally going to go attack. Um, Fleetfoot can't engage this army, and yeah, this is this is just him giving up. And here's a GG. Uh, very well played game by Arman. Uh, just kind of dismantling the uh, three base play by uh, using DTs to throw off Fleetfoot and holding the the counters and basically building up the death ball. 
and just rolling Fleetfoot over, unfortunately. But that was a GG, and let's go to game two.